2021 is all about saving and investing right and making sure that your dollar goes a long way. And to make sure that happens is Ben from Wild Wealth Management with us this morning. Good morning, Ben. How you doing? Good morning, Brad. Thanks for having me. Okay. Let's get to the basics here about, of course, making the dollar stretch for us. Yeah, for sure. Um, I want to emphasize mostly uh, with the millennials on this. And it's been something that's been coming up a lot. How do you retire? How can you uh, stretch out your money? How are some basic needs to do it? Uh, being in the industry, I found out most millennials want to retire in their 50s. Kind of hard to believe from uh, my parents' generation and uh, my grandparents, which practically never retired. So the first thing that's important is to set up a budget. Um, there's a lot of tech out there uh, that you can use in savings apps such as Truebill, Mint to start. Uh, they do all the work for you. So it makes it really easy to organize your finances. And every day you can take a look and make sure that uh, you're on track or not spending too much and kind of go from there. Next, what's important is you want to start a, a net worth statement. So net worth is assets minus your liabilities. And you want to make sure that uh, you're checking that on a regular basis. And that helps give you a big picture of where you stand and where you're going to go. It's always good to kind of check it once a year. You don't have to do it regularly, but once a year and you can kind of see where you stand. And you'll be surprised how far you go. And then you can see the increases year over year and, and the success that you're having. I like that. So, again, even if you're not a millennial, us older people need to do it, too. But I know we're, we're talking with millennials. Um, the biggest part is budgeting for success. That is something that you guys definitely talk to millennials about, right? Oh, 100%. And the nice thing about it is if you start early, that's where you have the uh, biggest amount of return that you can have. And it's never too early to start. And even if you've gotten into it a little bit late in the game, uh, you can definitely still start today. Uh, one of the nice things that, that anyone can use is how to budget with the 50-30-20 rule. Um, basically, what that means is 50% is used for needs, 30% for things that you want, and then 20% that you want to put into savings. And again, I can't emphasize enough on using one of these apps because it works really, really well to give you a daily track as opposed to the old school register where we're writing things in back in the day. Um, let the tech work for you, make your life easier. As you can tell, 2020 taught us anything. What me and Brad are doing right now, let the tech work for you. And uh, we just have to kind of make do for that uh, from there. Um, other things that you want to make sure of, you want to have uh, three to six months of uh, income saved up in a savings account. So, for example, if you have $3,000, um, you would want anywhere between $9,000 to $18,000 saved up for emergency use. I know it sounds scary. But if you start with the 50, 30, 20 rule a little bit every single month, you'll get there and you'll be surprised how fast again you get there. I like that. Okay. Give me two quick tips for our viewers about savings and uh, making the money last. Two quick tips. Basically, A, you got to start. You want to move it into some type of investment account once you have your, uh, your emergency fund set. The nice thing about it is there's a lot of inexpensive ETFs that you can start with, zero cost trades. You can start with as little as 25 bucks a month paycheck, and it helps you to be able to save for the long period of time. That's what it comes down to. Basically starting your, your portfolio and savings and just letting your money work for you. So I like it. All right. How can people find out more about getting a hold of you, Ben? Oh, we can contact me here at uh, Wild Wealth Management, um, and we'd love to uh, come see you guys soon. So, all right, Ben, thank you. Thank you.